For uh, 35 years I'd been writing, and with some success, novels, uh, oral histories, histories, a lot of coffee table books, but like mis most writers, my dream was to be a country music songwriter. <laughs> and, uh, so finally at the age of 65, I had a chance and, and I really loved it. Uh, I wrote a few songs and then I decided I would write a song or poem every morning. And I've been doing that for two and a half years. So uh, I've, it's really, a, I have reinvented myself as a, a poet and songwriter. And as far as musicians, I, I'm a lyricist. These, these are the actual songwriters, Rutt and Mindy, and I, I really was blessed to have them. So I'll, I'll begin with a poem. The age of five or six, uh, a lot of people feel that that's when art, that's an artist, that's the age that they draw on. If you want to really reach down, you're looking for the age of five or six. And, and this is what this poem is about. It's called Remembering. Remembering steps from left to right, or right to left, or both. Thick legs of elephant and camel hump it boast. The antlers spread near across the room, the snout for ants it waves, or so it seemed when I was young and painted in the caves. But now I've got a Kodak with pixels pink to black, and all the sharp bright colors can't bring the magic back. You want to seal a moment, then light that torch and come. Some soot and deepest okra will make the wild things run. <laughs> and this is Indian Rock. In dreams of sleep, I dream of you. How deep is love, how deep, deep, deep But was that love or something else? I gotta find out for myself I dreamed I called you yesterday To say hello before you go And by the time you've answered me You said goodbye once more for I sleep to dream, I dream of you I need a book to say things me And draw out complicated schemes of twos and don'ts and fronts and backs The girl said this, the boy said that A masterpiece to explain Complaining you're not here I met you at I can't say where by yourself you just got there in dreams i see you everywhere i know just why that it is you rinse both cups out in your sink you turn the mattress over it seemed the start of something big something to get over I sleep to dream, I dream of you I need a book to say things mean And draw out complicated schemes Of do's and don'ts and fronts and backs The girl said this, the boy said that A masterpiece to explain Complaining you're not here can't take this booth no more lead me to the dance floor a corner where the light's not bright i want to dance in my height spend a coin and play a song the one i'm writing in my head the one that takes my breath away and then fills the ice tray i sleep to dream i dream of you i need a book to say things mean and draw how complicated schemes of do's and don'ts and fronts and backs the girl said this the boy said that a masterpiece to explain complaining you're not here in dreams of sleep i dream of you how deep is love how deep 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 but was that love or something else i gotta find out for myself
I'm, I'm always amazed at what they can do with, with words on a piece of paper. Uh, that song was sort of very loosely based on a, a Jungian Episcopal dream camp that I went to 20 <laughs> years ago. And, and the book we used in the dream camp is still on my bedside table. So that's the, that's the dreams. And this, this poem grew out of the split in the Charleston area church, which was resolved a few months ago. And just, just by coincidence, Lee talked about Black River. This is set on Black Mingo, which runs into Black River. It's called Holy. Holy, 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 son of God, disguised as wayward man, did Jesus Christ trod this strip of white lined concrete, limp at dawn past the Gamecock farm, or cross Black Mingo, stop and have a bear at that place by the county line where they pulled the gas pumps out and left the rest behind? Or did he drive, maybe in a Ford Fiesta, with the front right fender crumpled and rust festered, humming something, careless elbow resting on the window edge, tattooed forearm reading, Semper Fi or Cherokee Indian Nation, drive along just so, with no thought now, crucifixion, content to be redeeming, and lost like any other to springtime dreaming. Those of you who know even a tiny bit about poetry, you'll see how ruthlessly we stole from Emily Dickinson there. And, and uh, Mindy said, you can't do that. I, I wore her down. So. <laughs> the last poem is a Buddhist poem. Uh, my s s friend Sam Savage's son Jeremy is the 12-year-old in the poem. And Jeremy ended up as a Buddhist monk in, in Nepal. He's been there eight years. So I think you might see that in the poem. Called the boy. The boy has found a turtle skull. The shells here pile high, and as a bright arc runs some miles toward the inlet, at hard dark these primeval whales will glow a tumbling green. Once on this beach, I found a silver fork, tines worn down to slivers. My cousin found a boar's tooth dating back some piece of eons, back to when that first man grown tired of Korean shores, walked across the world, reached this beach, and with turtle skull in hand, stood enthralled. 
Thank you.